34 years down the line, the body of Christ still stands tall. Some may call it legendary, but for us, it's a testament. The hallowed halls of the University of Eldoret, a transformation unfolds. Girls evolve into women of purpose and boys mature into men of influence. Testimonies echoes through the thing, lives profoundly altered the moment they set foot on campus. But where does this profound change begin? It starts at the gate of the University of Eldoret, where each student, this is only the beginning. The diversity within the Christian Union extends far beyond mere membership. History. In the grand tapestry of existence, everything has a starting point, a moment when it bursts into being and begins its journey through time. This journey, this unfolding of events and changes over time is what we call history. For the past 34 years, the Christian Union has not only existed but has thrived, evolved and grown with each passing year. As we look back, we see not only testimonies of transformed lives, but also tangible evidence of years of progress and refinement. Today, as we stand amidst the culmination of these decades, we can reflect on the sweet fruits of our labor and the clear evidence of our journey towards perfection. the Lord. Welcome to today's interview as we have the best guest that is Reverend Michael Kangogo. One of the associates will give us the brief history about the University of Eldoret Christian Union. I'm your host Paul Kamau. Come with me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello Paul. Hello. Uh, welcome to our today's interview as you want to dig deep into uh, maybe giving us information about the history of uh, the CU and maybe you can begin by telling us who you are and your relationship with the, with the CU. Yes, my name is Reverend Michael Kangogo. Yes. I am a lecturer in University of Eldoret. I teach tourism management mm -hmm. and at the same time a member of the advisory committee of the Christian Union. Mm -hmm. And I've been a member from 1999 up to now. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, that's nice. And maybe you can give us the brief history about the Christian Union. Uh, where did the idea originate from and uh, which year did it begin? Yes, I, I want to say that um, Christian Union is this university. Uh, began earlier and it began with uh, with the institution that was there before, mm -hmm. it was called uh, Moy Teachers Science College, uh -huh. which uh, began 1984 mm -hmm. until 1989. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, mm -hmm. it became a campus of Moy University. Mm -hmm. The name then was Chepkoilil University, uh, Chepkoilil Campus of Moy University. Uh -huh. So the Christian Union was there previously. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the college, and then when it became a campus, the Christian Union continued. And um, I came the year 1992, mm -hmm. and the were with instruments that were donated by the Christian Union of the college uh -huh. the, to the Christian Union of the campus. Uh -huh. And uh, 1989, I mean 1990, specifically it began 1990, because the college ended 1989. So 1990, the uh, the campus began and there were uh, three groups uh, that came in 1990 mm -hmm. it was um, 
second year from uh, who were transferred from Moi University and then there were two groups mm -hmm. of first years mm -hmm. uh, there were the, the last A level mm -hmm. and then the first 844 okay. uh, who now came uh, to this campus mm -hmm. yes at least this one I've I learned from my colleagues because I was not there then. Yes, so we had a Christian Union chairman, he's now late, mm -hmm. uh, called Samuel Darwa, mm -hmm. um, whom uh, I actually found him and the team in 1992. Mm -hmm. There was a nationwide strike in 1991. Mm -hmm. So actually it began 1990, then 1991, the, all the universities were closed. Mm -hmm. So 1992 is now we came in. Mm -hmm. And I found this Christian Union, mm -hmm. uh, and this the Christian Union was about uh, uh, six hundred in number. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, it, actually, it was about four hundred, but it grew to about uh, six hundred by the time I left. Okay. Specifically, I was here from nineteen ninety two to nineteen ninety six as a student, yeah. and I was involved in the Christian Union from the word go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, so as such, uh, because when uh, an institution is there and they are Christians, mm -hmm. they will always continue congregating, praying and worshiping. Mm -hmm. So the Christian Union that was in the college mm -hmm. continued as a campus. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much for such a good uh, brief history. And maybe you can tell us about the challenges first. We understand there are challenges in uh, matters to do with finances and maybe the mode of communication because that by then maybe most of the students uh, didn't have the phone. So how was that, uh, how are you able to navigate through these challenges? Yes, of course, uh, it was digital. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was analog. Eh? There was uh -huh. no phones. Uh -huh. Even internet was not there. Uh -huh. Then... Uh, I want to say we were actually using the physical mm -hmm. in terms of posters. Eh? Uh -huh, posters. Uh, we had publicity, uh -huh. uh, which of course they had to come up with posters about the uh, programs for Friday mm -hmm. and even for Sunday and any other announcement it was actually put uh, physical posters eh? mm -hmm. in the departments, in the strategic places. Mm -hmm. And then of course communication could be done in the fellowship like in a Friday, the announcement, mm -hmm. which is like it's even been done today, mm -hmm. the announcement was actually a source of communication for the next meeting. Yeah, sure. Because there wasn't anything like communication, we actually used to do physical letters through the post office. Mm -hmm. Because there was no gadget of communication like a phone. Mm -hmm. We only had a telephone booth, mm -hmm. which sometimes we were putting in some coins. Okay. Somebody could just go to post office, just maybe call somebody, but it was a very cumbersome. Uh -huh. But the uh, box, uh, PO box was the one which was we were using, even writing to speakers, mm -hmm. we were using that. Mm -hmm. So, really, it wasn't a challenge, it was like it was okay. As, uh, as them yeah. uh, and again it was a small size and uh, mm -hmm. to me we were equal to the task we didn't have any major challenge as such we were just handling uh, you just yeah, uh, yeah. okay with that yes uh, maybe to the next question um if you can tell us uh, how was the association between the cu the institution and other denominations and how was the relationship between the cu and uh, the society maybe the outside churches and yeah, was there collaboration or yeah Yes, are you saying uh, see you an administration or that's a yeah, different question? Denomination, yeah. Or denomination, huh? yeah. not to the university administration. Yeah, yeah. I think that one I will come in later. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to say the relationship was cordial mm -hmm. and it was very good. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, all the Christian Union, uh, all the students, mm -hmm. they were staying inside campus. There was nobody staying outside. Mm -hmm. So uh, as such, mm -hmm. uh, this also being an uh, institution near the community, mm -hmm. Uh, the, uh, the community, we were reaching them in terms of outreach. Oh, okay. And uh, of course, Sokomo was not there. There was no, so many things were not there. Mm -hmm. So what was happening is, um, we the, the, the relationship was very good with the churches around. Mm -hmm. uh, Chepisa CIC was there. Mm -hmm. And then the other churches, there was full gospel. Mm -hmm. And I want to say uh, the relationship came mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, the Christians here. Mm -hmm. At some point, they actually used to, some of them, because they could go and fellowship outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Kimumu, uh, in Jebisas, a few. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, everybody was a member of the Christian Union. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to register. It was a very small group. It was clearly, uh, you know, accountability was clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a situation whereby 
uh, we actually had the first mission uh, when we came first of all I want to mention there was no e team uh, there was no evangelist team it was only Christian Union it was only one body uh, and um, I was privileged mm -hmm. I was actually in charge of missions uh -huh. and uh, but the title then is not like the current one mm -hmm. i know we'll be addressing that later yes. it was called worship and outreach chairman uh -huh. so i was actually in charge of friday fellowships mm -hmm. i was in charge of sunday uh, services mm -hmm. i was also in charge of uh, enrich and outreach mm -hmm. so the programs were very clear so uh we could be invited to go to some missions mm -hmm. uh by other universities mm -hmm. or other uh, evangelistic ministries mm -hmm. but we didn't have one uh, at that initial time mm -hmm. we somehow we did not allow the e-teams to, to because it was formative stage mm -hmm. we wanted absolute uh, you know, uh, foundation mm -hmm. and then now uh, later I'm happy that now uh, we allowed okay. uh, now at that time I was member of advisory uh -huh. we are now allowed the e-teams mm -hmm. because so that we could be able to complement uh -huh. what the Christian Union uh, was doing uh -huh. yes so i want to say the first mission mm -hmm. annual mission was done 1995 mm -hmm. and uh, it was actually mission to uh to queen it mm -hmm. and uh, this one began actually it began in a very small way since 1993 mm -hmm. i remember after sunday service i worked with a certain team i told them let's just go to queen it we went there we just walked to the place mm -hmm. we preached and we came back uh -huh. but now we organize and an annual mission 1995 December mm -hmm. where we preach even during Christmas time oh. and we were staying at the, uh, the university did not allow us to stay inside campus okay. uh, the rule then was during holiday no students should stay inside because everybody was staying inside uh -huh. so we had to ask for accommodation in Chepesas mm -hmm. high school mm -hmm. and then we were working all the way we didn't we were, using, we were not using any vehicle yeah, yeah. all the way to Guinea and we had a mission uh, for more than one week uh -huh. and uh, people got saved a church was established mm -hmm. prior to that mm -hmm. uh, starting as early as 1992 mm -hmm. we actually went to Camp and that place was chaotic it was terrible mm -hmm. people were drunkards they were by midday they were you know they were fighting already mm -hmm. and it was chaos so we actually started preaching uh -huh. and eventually the church there was was born 1995 mm -hmm. but it was just we only just went out to that we wanted to reach out we went there we preached and then a church was born. Mm -hmm. Then the organized one was annual mission and uh, which was done in 1995 mm -hmm. and it gave us the full gospel mm -hmm. in Queenet. So I want to say the relationship between the campus, the Christian Union and the community yes, was okay. Oh. Uh, of course, one thing we stopped mm -hmm. any strikes mm -hmm. through prayers. One time there was some situation nearby there was need. Mm -hmm. uh, connection between all the site and new site mm -hmm. it was not there mm -hmm. so there were no pavement we used to go through the bushes mm -hmm. so people went on uh, you know anger strike mm -hmm. for one week mm -hmm. but eventually they open uh, plant when you see planet and all that it was open because of that okay. but uh, i remember we went to prayers mm -hmm. and we prayed and god helped us it was we were never said home and there was no strike mm -hmm. but exactly the christian no pray. so i was saying mm -hmm. We actually had a good relationship, so there was no situation of people going into rampage, going outside, destroying people because they were just farms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, relationship with the Christian Union mm -hmm. and the institution was cordial mm -hmm. in terms of they actually were generous enough. We didn't have an issue in terms of venues. Mm -hmm. I was saying our Friday fellowship, we are doing it in L1 mm -hmm. and uh, Sunday services, and then the, the uh, 6 p.m. Sunday power pack prayer we were doing it in LT1 and we were fitting. Mm -hmm. When the numbers increased we were actually given annex mm -hmm. that is uh, we, we call it uh, L3 L3, mm -hmm. L3. Uh -huh. uh, just next to mess. Yes. So that's actually where now there we started now having our Friday fellowship and send services there. Mm -hmm. And I want to say uh, it is because of the the members of the advisory mm -hmm. who could really handle issues with the with, with the with the administration mm -hmm. and one of the places we actually requested was place to put the instruments mm -hmm. which they gave us a place in in b in hostel b mm -hmm. where we were actually putting our instruments mm -hmm. and then later uh because of proximity we actually requested uh, 
G or still G, uh, where we can put in the, with the instruments. So in brief, we actually didn't have any major challenge. Actually, at the time when the, I was there, uh, the, our CU patron was Eliud Simiu. Mm -hmm. He was actually an IRD lecturer or Shum currently. Mm -hmm. He passed on uh, some years back. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we had Professor Lusuiti Kitui, mm -hmm. who became as the CU patron. And then later, uh, Professor Aburu came in uh, later, mm -hmm. and then uh, currently we have Dr. Victoria and Chichi. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to say, and of course, and their committee, mm -hmm. so I want to say that relationship has actually met us to have a cordial relationship. Mm -hmm. To an extent, as we are talking, as we are aware, mm -hmm. they have already allocated us one acre, mm -hmm. a piece of land yes. for the case of union. Oh, wow. So our, our relationship has been okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was after L3, but now we're going to L4, L5, mm -hmm. at the current uh, place. So we have not really had any any major challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think that's what I can say for now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, a quick one is um, I, the, the fact that um, uh, when Christians pray, I mean, when they are involved in any activity, they actually, most cases, they actually make uh, sure mm -hmm. that uh, the Christians are actually involved in terms of prayers in you know, all their functions. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, maybe to our last question uh, is about has the CU uh, maybe attained the vision to comp uh, maybe compare the maybe when the sea was starting and right now and what are your recommendations uh, that you can give to the current leadership yes i, I can say uh of course the mission of the christian union is to strengthen its faith mm -hmm. that is to, to deepen the, the relationship with god mm -hmm. and also to reach out uh, to the ambition mm -hmm. so i can say uh the outreach program the the industry programs have been quite okay. Mm -hmm. I can actually say in terms of, um, you know, the Bible studies. Of course, Bible studies used to be there. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that has continued. Mm -hmm. uh, Friday fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, uh, classes. Mm -hmm. And of course, place to be. And all that, as, uh, which normally, the uh, Kairos, which really ensures that the, the Christians are deep in their faith. Yes. And then in terms of outreach, mm -hmm. of course, it has been that, that the missions now, mm -hmm. that the mission dockets, the E-teams are there and they are reaching out. Mm -hmm. uh, annual missions, adopting the land. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, I can say that it has actually continued mm -hmm. because really they, they to deep in their faith and also reach out. Mm -hmm. It has been going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I can only, only say that uh, the proportion then mm -hmm. of the Christian Union uh, in quotes, because you know, as we have clear records of those who have registered, mm -hmm. the total number of students, yeah. it was very high. Mm -hmm. At one time, we were about 400 mm -hmm. uh, Christian Union members mm -hmm. uh, out of 600 total. So you can oh, see, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's about 75%. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were even then rated that it was the fastest growing Christian Union in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I want just to mention that that proportion was quite uh, high. Mm -hmm. I would recommend to the current Christian Union, and particularly with the elaborate now, constitution plus also the, the, the leadership mm -hmm. that they really need to, go to continue encouraging more of outreach mm -hmm. particularly among the students and also among the staff mm -hmm. we don't just assume so that you can get more people mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, becoming i mean uh, subscribing or accepting the thing mm -hmm. yes and of course also practicing mm -hmm. yes yeah mm -hmm. thank you very much maybe you can just give us your last ones now Yes. yes, I can actually want to encourage the uh, Christian Union yes. and the youth, you people as a team yeah. that uh, let us continue to pray mm -hmm. uh, for our Christian Union mm -hmm. and also at the same time mm -hmm. we actually encourage the linkages between mm -hmm. uh, the students and the associates mm -hmm. because many a times uh, the resources in terms of uh, the word of God, in terms of even financial, mm -hmm. out there among the brethren who are past here, mm -hmm. is really enormous. Yeah. Particularly even in areas of prayers. There are so many whose prayers, whose visions, whose uh, foundations was, were actually established here. Yeah, sure. And uh, really when they when there's a good relationship, mm -hmm. they can always step in. Mm -hmm. I won't say that that can actually need to be maintained. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, is uh, that let us actually ensure Mm -hmm. uh, of course, nobody will be monitoring Christians, uh -huh. but uh, in terms of our daily behavior, mm -hmm. that uh, the practical manifestation, I noticed that we are dealing with a different generation. Mm -hmm. The 
manifestation of Christian behavior mm -hmm. in, uh, in, 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 even in class mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, relationship, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, performance, mm -hmm. let it definitely be, we want to encourage our Christians that they become role models yeah, sure. in all those areas yeah. to me I can say it's a bit one thing, it's not as it used to be during our time mm -hmm. uh, we asked, we were very clear nobody could be found in like a disciplinary or in some behavior or funded relationship mm -hmm. by the way, relationship among the, the Christian Union was almost zero then, that is numbers of relationship in terms of towards, you know, having a boy, I mean, as, as I say, it's a man, girl yeah. relationship, it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But even if it was there, it was done in a very mature way. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I hear currently is not very good. I want to encourage yes. that we need to uphold those morals, uh -huh. chastity, and ensure that we represent Christ. We become the salt yeah. and the light of the world. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. And we will continue praying for the Christian Union. Yes. And I know it's heading in the right direction. Yeah. Like this, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Thank God you. bless you. Amen. Yeah. What a good interview to have the best, uh, one of the best. It's called Reverend Michael Kangogo. I'm your host. Welcome out. Thank you. She embodies the essence of motherhood. With a heart wide open, she has graciously supported and guided the Christian Union, remaining a steadfast beacon of care and direction. The joy radiating from her spirit and the boundless love she holds for the Christian Union transcends mere words. She's more than a patron. Here is to Mom Victoria Anjichi, our beloved Christian Union patron. the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a very great day indeed because we are privileged to be speaking to our one and only mom who is also our patron Dr. Victoria Anchichi. So please come with me as we speak to her. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Wakori Dina. Again, the school of business, the project. Today, we are privileged to have our patron here of the University of the Lord Christian Union. Welcome so much. Thank you very much, your colleagues. Um, so, you may briefly introduce yourself, saying uh, your name and uh, something about yourself. Thank you very much. My name is Victoria Nditi. I'm a lecturer in the School of Agriculture and Technology. I'm born again. And what I can say about myself, I love students. I find it a privilege to be the patron. If I'm also a parent with young people, the age of our students, and it's a privilege. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, Dr. Anjichi, you have been in the Christian Union for a very long time. Would you like to explain to us your experience in the Christian Union and also your interaction with the students in the Christian Union? Thank you very much, Dina. Um, as far as I can remember, actually I joined the University of Elderly in the year 1999, and it was time back. But uh, being in the Christian Union and the advisory, it is since the year 2006. I was an advisory committee member for quite a long time before becoming the patron. It has been a great inspiration to me because I have seen students who come in year one, join the Christian Union, and by the time they are going away, they are so mature and transformed. I've seen others join in year three and four, mm -hmm. and I've sadly seen others join and drop off, not in an age. But I've been encouraged because at the time we put a carriage in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, I've heard you mention something like the advisory committee. Yes. So how is it for you? Uh, what are the changes that you have seen being in the administration for that long time? Uh, what have the changes that have been there? The, the Christian Union have imparted the school, the administration, we have the lecturers who are also in the Christian Union, or they are supporting the Christian Union. Okay, thank you very much for that question. What I can say is that the, the University of Elderly Christian Union is actually regarded as a club. 
than many clubs. Then one of the uncle and uncle was student, and all clubs are run by students. And you say the students are the great people, the chairperson, yes. And the Christian Union is one of those. But then we have the spiritual aspect of it. We, we as advisory, we encourage our students to be leaders in this Christian Union, that we pray for them, we mentor them, and also that they bring them in terms of the way forward. Having been an administrator, of course, I was the head of the department and I was in the girls' shop for quite a while. I have been very thankful to God for what the Christian women does. It, it, it encourages the students, both male and female students, when the difficult times come, we are together. When the celebrations come, we are together. And difficult times are bound to come. Sometimes we look at the current situation and the economy is so difficult. When our students don't have clothing or food or things like that, we come together and sometimes advise the welfare, do the assistance in this way. We just advise. And I am really encouraged because that long I have seen the Christian Union really make a difference. As a matter of fact, whenever I bring my fellow students who are not uh, on the advisory. In the first Sunday they come, they ask me, you mean there are students on this campus who can be so smart like me? And then I tell them it's only in Christian Union who know who they are and, and, and they can be very smart. Wow, that's a great statement. Yeah. Um, uh, even as we focus on the great thing that the University of the Lord Christian Union has been able to impart students and the lecturers and also the science. I know there are also challenges that you are, you are best or are currently facing as a patron. So do you please just share any challenges that you are facing? Okay. Yeah, we, we actually have some challenges, but on the other side there are also opportunities. The, the challenges, and most of the challenges occur when as staff, you know, we are here on doing the thing. And maybe the week, weekdays, Monday to Friday, then we go away. And then the, the, in the evenings and the on weekends, if you ask me, literally, the, 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 the university is taken care of by the executive members of the Christian Union. Some of the challenges are these students who are studying in the executive committee, we have not been privileged enough to have them trained well, even to be counselors. To be able to solve the peer challenges that we leave them to face. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we find ourselves, yeah, so they are reporting to us over the weekend, this happened, I was not able to. We wish that we could have more opportunities to have the exact training mm -hmm. so that they are better equipped to really perform their work well. But I really thank God they are trying in their own way. Mm -hmm. A second challenge would be the changeover. Mm -hmm. Somebody is here for four years, they are serving the exec. But not one year. Mm -hmm. When they are just getting to know it, they are changing over. When they are just getting to know it, but it's okay, it's our joy because we really want to call them. Mm -hmm. It has been a very good interaction. The advisory committee, most of us have been like the, the, the stagnant one. Mm -hmm. And the students, the exec, come and go and come and go and listen and, and what they learned the impassive tone to the one coming, that has been wonderful. But in the time of opportunity, we have had the privilege to interact with students outside academia, which mm -hmm. is outside the academics, and we just go to the field and have the games or just the Sunday fellowship. So once in a while, if they're able to come to our house, we just have a break. And then, like our family is even light, yeah. and we thank God for everything. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, it is a great joy to see that uh, our patron says that the family has expanded. It means that whenever we say that there is love in the Christian indeed it is true. So uh, I would just like also to ask, like, the students are only here for four years, and those who are doing engineering are also here for more than four years. Mm -hmm. After they have transitioned and they have gone out there, do we still follow up on them? Do you know their endeavors or whatever they are doing out there? If they are still only going to be paid, and also if they are still having God out there. 
Thank you very much. That's a very important question to ask here in our advisory committee because we, we, we get our students who just completed high school, most of them, and they come here pursuing four or five year courses, the real estate. And we, 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 we do a lot of things with them. And so I desire that when they go out there, they hold on to it. And we are really encouraged. Quite a good number request us to be their referee. And, and I'm very excited because quite a good number we, last week we, we write. We just like to say the truth is they are diligent people. We recommend them to do it. And many of them have put, we follow them up. And those who are not very close with, they come back during the associate weekend. Yeah. And, and this associate weekend, when we interact with them on the associate forum, mm -hmm. it goes way back beyond 1999 when I was here. We are able to share with them. Many of the weddings we participated. Sometimes we go and one of our girls is getting married or our boys are getting, are getting a wife. We interact with them here and more so in the telephone conversation, in the, the other communication to encourage them to carry on. Yes, not, not with everybody, but with a good percentage. And they know one thing we are available. We give them our telephone number and they go, they can always. Back to back. For sure, when I see, I have in my phone 15 million students of 2,000 people, and we always communicate to them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that is a very nice thing. Yes. So, as we have heard, it is not only here in the Christian Union, but also after you have transitioned and also you are doing your endeavors outside there, this Christian Union has taken. Yeah. So, just as you have heard, uh, it is not only here in the University of Eldred that you will experience the love that is in the Christian Union, but also when you transit and go out there, the love still extends there. When you are doing your endeavors outside there, there is still support and love from this University of Christian Union. So on our last question, or I'd rather call it just a, a, a sum up of what we have been talking about, since we have all seen that uh, the Christian Union has a lot, which we could not even cover on this session. But um, what would you encourage someone who would want to join the Christian Union? What is your advice to them? And how would you encourage them? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, what I would say, transitioning from high school into university, mm -hmm. it, it's an amazing transition. Very exciting, but it can also be very traumatic. Because... You've been under such close supervision. If you're in a day school, you've been going back to parents and aunties and uncles in the village know you. Yeah. Now you come to University of Elder all the way from Tarakani. Nobody knows you in the neighborhood. But when one joins University of Elder, I say our, our motto goes, where love is more than one. This is made so practical. The students come, they are far from home, the University of Edward is located in a whole place. Some of them even have come, they have no blanket. You just look for a way to give them a blanket, an extra pair of trousers. Those who come from strict environments where they don't wear warm, long clothes, just tell them, hey, trousers, wear it because you need it in July. We embrace them and encourage them. And many other times when there may be misunderstandings on the family front, there may be lack of money and lack of other resources here and there. Sometimes you're not able to, 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 to sit an exam because of finance. Many of the times you try to fundraise. Sometimes you've done an exam and you feel unfairly graded. You, you, you feel this one that you should not have been given a supplementary. We encourage and we get to talk to each other to see what can be done. I would encourage every student who comes here to associate themselves with the University of Madrid Christian Union. Because this is we say where love is more than what this is a place you'll be encouraged. This is a place which you'll get an umbrella, a shelter, a place where you can interact with staff and fellow students from other departments it may not be very common. But otherwise, yeah, I'll encourage people to come and the growing spiritually. Mm -hmm. I would actually encourage students who come to University of Elders, please don't go to the church without faith. Mm -hmm. Join University of Elders Christian Union because you are taught a specific concern. Mm -hmm. 
concerns which affect the age group from high school to age 20, most of our year 4 and 5, 24, 20, those issues, friendships, how to pray, how to read the word, how to, all those, that are still about. But you say, ah, let me go and join a church out there. Then you find it is Mother's Day, then you find it is Sunday School Ministry. It's not addressing you, but here, every Sunday, every activity is geared towards your spiritual well-being, your academic well-being, your social well-being. So I think, please join Universal Way of Christian Union, if possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I will also attest that whatever you have said is very true. Mm -hmm. It is a great testimony even to us. Yeah. Those of us in the Christian Union, you know, we are really experiencing that. Whatever you are saying, it is very true. The topics that have been covered, they impact our lives directly as youth and even as students in the university. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much yeah. for being here for the short time. Mm -hmm. And thank you for sharing. Yeah. I'm very glad to have you on this session. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. We are very grateful to the university for having given us a piece of land for the top of and don't be supporting us being our students. We are very grateful to the university. Thank you, Dina. Nice to be interviewed by you. Thank you. Thank you. Leadership Structure the leadership structure of the Christian Union is a masterpiece in its own right. It begins with the executive committee, the ultimate decision-making body, which sets the course for the organization. Complementing this are the co opted leaders who diligently manage various tasks within the Christian Union. Extending further, we encounter the ministry leadership formed by dedicated leaders who contribute to the organizational goals. These leaders also sit on the board committee, ensuring alignment with the overall vision. Lastly, the E-team leadership, spearheaded by the JETS committee, brings a dynamic age to the organization's endeavors. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Welcome so much. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, we are honored and delighted to have you today. Oh, I'm so glad also to, to join you. Yes, how have you been? I'm been good. Welcome, ah, again. Yeah, okay. Welcome again, sir. Yes, thank you so much. You can introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Mumo Moses. I'm the current CU chair by the will of God, and I'm glad to be part of this documentary. Wow. Yeah, the yeah. Most happy Wow, thank you. Yeah, so uh, maybe you can brief us about your journey in the Christian Union. Since, uh, uh, let me just let me begin first here. How has it been? Wow, I can say I just uh, thank God for the far. Mm -hmm. Actually, I joined uh, when I was 1.1, uh, I became the BS pastor. Mm -hmm. And then 1.2, also a BS pastor. And uh, I've really enjoyed being a part of Christian Union. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we have seen you rise uh, from uh, the BS pastor now, still up to now. Were you ready for this? Did you see this coming? <laughs> Not really, actually. But uh, I served in second year in the uh, evangelistic team mm -hmm. and also in the ministry level. Mm -hmm. I served as a prayer secretary in praise and worship mm -hmm. and also in e team as the missions coordinator. Yeah, so let's yeah. say that uh, being the chair, being told that you wanted to be the chair was not a surprise to you. You are ready for that. Uh, it was a surprise, mm -hmm. uh, but I thank God for the strength and mm -hmm. for the grace. Actually, mm -hmm. He has been faithful to me since I accepted the call. Wow, yeah, amazing. thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, we want to know more about the scene. Uh -huh. I know, just like another another institution, like a company, everything has a management. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, and in this case, I believe that uh, we have the leaders who lead the CEO, believing that you are the head there. So, uh, can you tell us how is the structure of the CEO? Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, actually, CU is uh, is led by students. 
because one of the things that she is a is an organization of Christian students mm -hmm. who are bounded together by the same faith and uh, we are guided by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Scriptures. That is the Holy Bible. And uh, in terms of leadership, actually, we have a constitution that helps us when it comes to times of transition of leadership. And uh, there are different uh, leaders in the CU that are actively uh, associated with some functionings and some affairs in the CU. Yes. We have the topmost, which is the executive committee. Mm. We have the boards committee. Mm. We have technical committee, welfare committee, discipleship committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to just speak about the roles that this uh, committee play, uh, play mm -hmm. is that we have uh, like technical committees uh, is so concerned with the assets of the church as it's like the, the, the instruments, keyboard, drum sets, mm -hmm. also the assets like um, utensils. They are concerned with them and they take care of them also. When we have outdoor event, they are the one who facilitate to have them there, and then we, we really enjoy to have that committee in our church. Mm -hmm. Also, we have the, the missions committee, mm -hmm. which plays an important role in the church. Mm -hmm. This helps us in reaching out with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like it's as you, we adopted a land, Mount Elgon, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, where we preach for the Hongiek people. Mm -hmm. We organize for follow-ups, short-term people go there for three weeks, four weeks. They, they, uh, they, they be engaged in teaching, mm -hmm. you know, so learn some, some affairs in some churches there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we thank God for that. So we have a major committee called um, Discipleship. Mm -hmm. This is um, concerned with equipping students mm -hmm. who, are our, who are our members now with the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. They make them to live like a Christ-like life. Mm -hmm. They help them also to, to be true followers of Christ, mm -hmm. faithful disciples of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we have some classes like Mizizi, mm -hmm. Fishers, mm -hmm. and Mizizi, it gives us the basics, the roots there, mm -hmm. how to have that gospel, true gospel that is not controversial. Mm -hmm. We have also a, a Fishers class. This helps them to know how to preach the gospel, to reach out, to share the gospel faithfully and clearly. And also we have also BSTP. BSTP uh, is, a, is a class which will help you to defend your faith, to give you uh, our knowledge, wisdom, and how to interpret Bible scriptures that you cannot be lied to some false teachers who bring some heresies in, in our societies today. Mm -hmm. So w w these classes are very important, very important to our members. Mm -hmm. We also have CBR, or else you can call it DBR. Mm -hmm. uh, we train people now to, to, to actively and be engaged in reading their Bible for themselves mm. through daily reading the Bible chapter by chapter systematically so we have that class that we train them on how to journey the Bible from the Genesis to, to Revelation consistently mm. so it's a very good class also not forgetting about the the answer fit mm. for first years when they come in we, we introduce them to that class mm. and then through that class they are equipped on how to live a campus life mm. and then for new converts we also have a class that is a firm foundation bible study that all happens every tuesday mm. this is to just nature them to help them to grow in their salvation. Also, we have uh, the Bible study now for the whole CU mm. that we participate every Tuesday. Mm. This is to equip us mm. for the Bible. You know, we, we are students who are guided. You know, our doctrine is always based on the Bible, true mm. scriptures and the Holy Bible. Yeah, that's so glorious. Yes. Uh, like um, now, now uh, you have the committee. Like how many members? Are you? Yeah, in our committee, the executive committee, we are 11 of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I can just mention them, there is the chairperson, mm -hmm. vice chair, mm -hmm. we have the board chair, mm -hmm. secretary, vice secretary, treasurer, mm -hmm. we have the prayer secretary, we have a specialized leader, mm -hmm. and also we have the missions coordinator there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are some of them that also the technical leader. Wow. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I believe uh, you, you just delegate uh, the roles. Uh, you don't experience any challenges in mm -hmm. running the seal. 
Yeah, he has yeah, yeah. yeah, a good leader knows how to delegate. If you delegate, you will know you will be free from burnout. You know, yeah. it's a whole thing. So I just oversee some things, eh? mm. but eh, you find every affair the judge there is someone who is capable and has a committee to help them to run the, the CU program. Mm. Yeah, mine is only to oversee and then you bear the vision of the of the judge. Uh, Mr. Chair, just to take you back, you yes. mentioned. Uh, uh, those leaders uh, who need the help to, to undertake the roles of the CEO. Now, uh, what role does the vice chair play? Now, I've been all these leaders there. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. Uh, the vice chair is, is concerned with her associates. This is a Christian uh, union alumni who have been there for, for the past mm -hmm. and they have been actively participating in the CEO. So, we reach out to them. And they help us in one way or the other. And also, she's also concerned with the welfare of the church, of our members now. Because sometimes you find, uh, apart from catering spiritual matters eh, we, we, for students, we also cater for social matters and also for the stomach, like I can mention. Economically, some students may suffer. And through welfare, we help them, we give them food, we give them even love for free. That those who are living in hostels, we give them money, they can buy food. Yeah, we cater for their needs. Okay, he also mentioned something to do with God. Is he your PA? What, what's his role? Oh, wow, wow. Let me make this clear. The board chair is a is is a leader of ministries mm -hmm. you find in the church you have different ministries if i can mention them we have publicity like the one that you are doing here yeah. we have publicity uh, praise and worship uh, we have uh, choir ministry ushering mm -hmm. yeah and now the leaders of those ministries mm -hmm. they form a committee who oh, their chair now is the board's chair and they run the CEO program yeah, like services, we are the one who are concerned so much about that. Uh, that's all. Uh, yes. Yes, now uh, maybe we can get to the mission of the CEO and uh, the motto. Of the oh, CEO. the motto of the CEO. Mm -hmm. Now, the CEO now, uh, it has a motto whereby it's the, the, the Christ is the head. Mm -hmm. This is our motto that in everything that we do mm -hmm. ourselves is to see our lives glorifying God. Mm -hmm. Christ is the head. Christ is the end of the church. So, we say Christ is the hand, you always see you. Yeah. Then the mission. Now, the mission is to see that students are living a Christ like life mm -hmm. and also to reach out with the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mark the word true gospel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to avoid the, we know the prosperity and the controversial gospel. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. yeah. So we need to deploy them there outside with the true gospel that if we equip them, mm -hmm. they outside they will go to the society with the true knowledge of God. They are able to read the Bible for themselves and they can understand and appreciate it and also apply mm -hmm. in their lives. And this will help them even in their churches outside there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I believe uh, uh, for the time you have been the CEO chair, do you see uh, maybe through the lives of some of these members, you are the, you are the chair. Yes. You are flocks now. Let me call them your blog now. Do you see any change or is the mission being achieved? Yeah, thank you for that. Actually, I can say the Lord has been faithful. I've seen some changes. Mm -hmm. Not even now when I'm the chair, but mm -hmm. since I joined the CU now. Mm -hmm. I have seen the CU transforming lives. Mm -hmm. Personally, when I came here, the level that I was spiritually, mm -hmm. actually today I can confess that it's very different. And all I can see is through the CU, the mission of the CU, that are being equipped to live in a, being a faithful follower of Christ. And you know, mark the word faith, there are different between follower of Christ and also a faithful follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. So I can say I've been, I've seen students who really, really have the zeal and they, they have grown in Christ spiritually. Mm -hmm. And also they are reaching out to other students in the campus. So I can say that the mission of the CU is being achieved, but we are still trusting God for more, to see more students being transformed. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, also, uh, why would you tell uh, someone who is uh, at the University of Eldoret, yes. uh, someone who does not go to church, mm -hmm. someone who does not have that bill, there are, you know, there are some people, uh, they come to the school and then uh, back at home, these people do not 
go to church and mm. probably when they come here they also feel the same way yeah so these people are just there at the school also we have the first years who doing the university every day so why would you encourage someone to do the same yeah actually thank you for that mm. as a student the best place you can be at campus mm. is in christian union Wow. Let me mention this. Mm -hmm. A Christian union you find here is where you, you just find a womb. Mm -hmm. You find somewhere people, they are just uh, friends for you. You find accountability partners, people who care about you, mm -hmm. who care about your life here in campus. Not, not only in, in academic work, but also spiritually, economically, social life, how you, you, you are failing on. And through this, I tell you the sea is very good in that. It will provide for you whatever you need. It will always be there as your father, as your mother, to make sure that you, you, your, your life at campus is to ease your life at campus, actually. You know, because some things that you undergo uh, at campus, if you are not a Christian member, actually there are things that you undergo that they are not good, actually. But if you are a CU member, you will experience that love of brethren. Mm -hmm. You'll find some people where you can get help when you are in need. Mm -hmm. And through the CU, I can tell you, it has been good to equip students. Mm -hmm. There are associates who have testimonies about the CU, about how the CU transformed their lives, mm -hmm. and they can testify the places where they are mm -hmm. in their career. Mm -hmm. They can say, this, the, the Christian Union molded them. They fixed them. It fixed them and to, to be uh, men who are uh, impactful outside there. So it's always good. And this is my words to any student at campus. Actually, find some time, visit the CU, and when you visit the CU, make it your place because the CU is, a, is, is your mother here and your father at yes. campus. Yeah, here yeah, they say that uh, the CU is home. Yes. Uh, from home. Yeah. yeah. And that one we can attest. So, Chair, we are grateful for the moment that we have had with you. Yeah. And uh, you are truly doing a great work. Yes, thank you. You are truly giving a great service to the Lord. Wow. Yeah, we really bless you for that. Yeah, so, thank you so much for honoring our call and uh, may we meet in the next episode. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, let me remind you something that I've not mentioned. Welcome to Invest of Eldoret Christian Union, where love is more than words. We are love more than words. Yeah. We are that. Thank you. Thank you. From the same geographical locale and ethnic backgrounds, evangelistic teams are forged within the Christian Union, nurturing a profound sense of belonging without overshadowing tribal affiliations. Each year, these teams embark on a noble mission, spreading the gospel far and wide across the country. Despite their diverse origins, these teams unite under the banner of faith driven by a shared purpose to proclaim the message of hope and salvation to all corners of the nation. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Daisy Koech. I'm the chairperson to Noret, that is North Rift Evangelistic Team. We reach out to counties in the northern part of the Rift Valley, that is Baringo County, Wasingishu County, Nandi County, Elgeo Marakwet, Turkana, West Pokot, some parts of Samburu, and some parts of Transoia. As a family, we always have our fellowship every Saturday from 3.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. We also have our enriches every Monday from 6.45 p.m. And also we have our prayer and fasting day on Thursday and the conclusion at the bush from 5 p.m. And uh, as a family also, we normally have our missions twice in a year, one for Noret UA and another one for Noret Kenya. Our vision as an e-team is knowing Christ and making him known and also reconciling people back to Christ. And so I uh, see you as have been of great impact to our e-team, first because it is through the CU that our members were introduced to Noret and also through the discipleship 
classes organized by the CU, our members are able to be equipped, they are able to stand to witness Christ. And we say welcome to North Rift Evangelistic Team, where simplicity means elegance in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Hello, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am Maurice Talo from Museta Family. That is Noble Youth Servant Evangelism Team. Museta Family is an e-team and a Christian Union. That is UOECU. In Museta Family, we do have our weekly programs. That is on Monday. We do have in reaches where we reach out to students residing in the hostels. And on Thursday, we do have our prayer and fasting day. And we do our conclusion at the bush. And on Saturday, we do have our fellowship at ED1. Yeah, we usually cover Nakuru County and areas surrounding Nakuru County. Also, we do have our missions. That is two missions per year. That is short-term mission as New Seta UOE and national mission that is as New Seta National around Nakuru County. Also, the Christian Union has been impactful to me personally and also to my members. That is, it has helped us to grow through reading the word of the Lord and also even through the life of prayer. Welcome to New Seta family, where love is more than words, where love begins and never ends, and where everybody is somebody. Shalom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm Kisedi, I'm born again. I belong to Mid-Eastern United Brethren Evangelistic Team. That is Mubet. We evangelize at the following counties. Meru County, Tarakanese County, Isiola County, Samburu County, Embu County, and part of Marsavit County. Our vision is to bring mankind into knowledge of God and salvation through gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our mission is to proclaim and devote in Christ by making disciples. Welcome to Mubet family, where serving Christ and making him known is our passion. Hello, praise the Lord. I'm Paul Ngala. I'm serving as the chair of Coast Evangelics team in the spiritual year 2023-2024. Our Coast Evangelics team uh, covers the six counties of the coast region, that is Mombasa, Kilifi, Lamu, Tana River, Kuala and Taitataveta. Yes, our main purpose is missions and uh, we, are, uh, we are normally doing our missions in the counties mentioned and uh, we also engage in inriches within the hostels in school and uh, we also engage in outreaches within the school also and uh, uh, the eating has impacted me uh, even in my personal life as a as a member of the christian union it has enabled me even to study the bible consistently even in my prayer life and even in matters to do with fellowships and uh, the christian union has been of impact to the eating because uh, our members are drawn from the christian union and also the christian union have uh, programs that help our members even to grow spiritually uh, so we normally also conduct our missions every april uh, as set your unit and uh, on December, we normally conduct our mission for set kenya currently we have been to voy and we had the mission to voy a place called mandao and we bless the lord for that and uh, now welcome to coast evangelistic team where we say united state family we stand uh forward ever backward never hello praise the lord i'm nicholas morara serving as sorate chairperson sorate means south Rift evangelistic team this team covers the areas of south Rift region that is for met narrow Nakuru and Kajiado uh, and this uh, team is mandated to reach out to South Rift region to spread the gospel to that region and uh, we do normally have uh, missions in, in our in our e team we have mission that is in, in those areas that I have mission and uh, currently we are planning for a mission in the land of Rift and also in the land of Roret come August and April and uh, we thank God for such uh, a blessing to the family. And uh, also, uh, this um, e team has impacted me personally since I joined in the prayer life and also in the uh, in terms of. And uh, now, welcome to Soret family, where every soul counts and love is more than words. Praise God. My name is Sabara Samuel. I'm here to represent Western family that is Western Outreach. Weso is an e team, an evangelizing team under Christian Union, and we do cover western parts of Kenya, that is Goma County, Bihiga County, Sia County, Kakamega County, and parts of Transwest County. 
and the main reason for our existence is for evangelism. That is the missions part of it. We do go for the missions in those counties that I've been able to mention. And within the university, we as an e-team, we do have several programs, some of them including even the enriches, whereby currently we are enriching to the students living in hostels. We have a slogan which says that welcome to Weso family, where love is evident. Indeed, in Weso, the moment you come in, you will be able to feel that evident of the love that we say in our slogan. So welcome so much and feel at home. Welcome all in Weso family. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Gila Komboka. I'm the chairperson of NET Ministries Trust UE Unit. And as NET Ministries, we have our mission that is to let people into a personal knowledge of Christ as the Lord and Savior of their lives and also to raise them into realization of His call of their lives. And so as a ministry, we have a motto that is responding to God's call that uh, as recorded in Matthew chapter 10 verse 6 to 8. And as net, we cover parts of Nyanza region that is uh, Nyamira County, Kisi County, Siaya, Homa Bay, uh, Kisumu, Migori. And uh, we, we usually conduct our missions during December holidays and uh, yeah, so in Net Family, this is where I've been able to grow in most of the aspects of my life, and not only me, but also the other members in this ministry. We have really tested the goodness of the Lord. We have grown in the spirit. We have a, uh, we have uh, been, we have accountability partners, and they always check on us. And so I welcome you to Net Ministries Trust, where in love, in unity, and humility we serve. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. My name is Kennedy Musoka. By the grace of God, I serve as chairman to Atamos Evangelistic Team, which is an non-denominational ministry that is prayerfully committed in proclaiming the gospel of Christ through teaching, mentoring, training, and even implementation of Kenyan Development Society's initiatives here in Kenya, which we cover the lower, or rather the eastern part of Kenya, basically Ukambani, that is Kitui County, Makueni County, and even Machakos County. And as we wait, we do have our fellowships on every Saturday and even prayer and fasting day with conclusion daily on Thursday. And now weight has been of great impact, not only in my life, and but also to the other members. In my life, it has helped me that I may develop some core values such as transparency, self-esteem, teamwork, accountability, and the so-called transparency. And as we wait, we exist under Wet Kenya and even the Christian Union. Christian Union of, has been of great impact and even influence in our ministry so far as much as the ministry of evangelism is concerned. For instance, it has made some programs which help us develop the sound doctrine that we may proclaim Christ in the right manner. And now I, as Kennedy, I have vision for the sake of this family, and by the help of God, it is my desire that I may lead the ministry, that we may proclaim the Christ by transforming the life of men by the holistic gospel, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And now as we wait, we are uttermost, and everybody is welcomed. Shalom. Hello and praise the Lord. I'm Samuel Wahome, currently the chairperson to Central Rescue Evangelistic Team, CRC. We are in, under the courtesy of UOECU, and our main objective is to evangelize in the central part of Kenya. We cover seven counties. We have uh, Laikipia, uh, Nyandarwa, we have Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Kiambu, Mbanga, Nairobi. Yeah, we also have other activities when we are in the school, that is, in reaches and outreaches in the various parts that surround the campus. Uh, we also come together in gatherings for prayers and also for uh, fellowship so that we can equip each other in discipleship and also in spiritual growth. Yeah, it is an organization that is uh, guided by the constitution. As here at we are looking forward to equipping uh, the members throughout evangelism and also spiritual growth. And we are also coming up with a national body that is CRC Kenya with collaboration in collaboration with other campuses. And so I invite you so much 
to our fellowships and our gatherings so that we can grow together, experience God together, and we can continue edifying each other as the body of Christ and also as we evangelize and extend the love of Jesus together. So welcome so much to CRC family where Christ is our firm foundation. Once a CRC member, always a seeker of Christ. Thank you. a sense of purpose, call it the relentless pursuit of ambition. Within the University of Eldred Christian Union, ministry serves as sanctuaries for honing skills and aligning with purpose. Through these diverse channels, many individuals have found their footing and flourished. The University of Eldred Christian Union boasts a rich array of ministries including choir, praise and worship, publicity, and more. Each ministry provides a unique platform for individuals to cultivate their talents, deepen their faith, and contribute meaningfully to the collective mission of the Christian Union. Praise God. My name is Pauline. I represent Publicity Ministry. In our ministry, we have four departments. Graphics departments where we prepare posters, banners, and programs for the Christian Union. We also have projection department. And we also have pro photography and videography department where we take photos and, and videos during the church services. We also have web design department where we manage the social medias of the Christian Union. In our ministry, we, all, we have some activities such as on Wednesday is our prayer and fasting day where we fast and pray. On Thursday, we have fellowships and in processions where we train on departments. And on Saturday, we also have trainings too for the departments. Publicity ministry have helped me gain skills concerning the departments. Every department have gained skills. I've also being a leader has helped me gain leadership skills and qualities. It has also helped me create a bigger heart to accommodate different people and their different personalities. The impact of the Ministry has helped, has helped members of the ministry gain skills on the departments which will not be for the use only when in school and also whenever they are out of the school. I welcome you all to Publicity Ministry where we are the ambassadors of Christ through media. Yes, I'm very lucky new leader of catering ministry from the University of Eldoret Christian Union. Yeah, catering ministry is a ministry whereby we serve in uh, different special events in the Christian Union, and this one includes on my knee prayers. It includes uh, AGMs, that is annual general meetings. On those events, we serve Kahawa, and also on uh, special general meetings, we also serve Kahawa. On uh, prayer cashes, we also do our services. We prepare and serve Kahawa at the same time. That is the prayer cashes, the SPM cashes, and even during the worship experience cashes. Uh, we also serve during, uh, we prepare and serve during the uh, Friday fellowships whereby we serve during the evaluations and also on Sundays as well. The first service and the second service we do serve during the evaluations. Uh, we also serve in um, various events, especially during the, the retreat now, as you can see, people are in the retreats and we are having our meals. Yeah, so if the catering ministry who caters for the same, do the preparation and even the serving at the same time. Also, we do our prayers and fastings on Wednesday and we conclude at the bush, that is the bush that is uh, besides the engineering block. And also on uh, Thursday, we are having our fellowship from 6.45 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at ED2. Uh, our vision as a ministry is that people to be built, to be molded, and that they grow to the Christ likeness as the vision and the mission of the Christian Union as well. Welcome to Catering Ministry, where we serve wholeheartedly unto the Lord and not men. Thank you. Hello and praise the Lord. Uh, I'm Emitingi Brian, representing the Instrumentalist uh, Ministry. And as Instrumentalist Ministry, we don't work alone. We work hand in hand with the praise and worship. Uh, to form one ministry where we have our fellowships and on Wednesday we usually have our bush conclusion 
from five to six Thursdays we have our normal practice sessions uh, for the sake of Friday ministrations that is from 6 45 uh, to 8 30 uh, the same on Saturday this is where now we majorly train whereby from 8 to 11 we have the instrumentalist training uh, those who are upcoming those who are there to better even their skills are given opportunities and now being joined with the praise and worshipers from 11 to 1 we do have now our general practices for the sake of sunday ministration how really they see you as benefited uh, us as a ministry uh, we can never complain because we've been having most of the privileges the cu uh, usually gives us humble time so that we can practice for the sake of administration uh, especially whenever we are in need mostly we do have uh, several ministrations that require different slots for the sake of sunday where we have first service and second service and this requires time for us to practice and here we see that uh, the union really gives us humble time to practice yes and now maybe personally how this ministry has been of impact to me is that uh, i cannot say that i'm now the same since i joined the ministry from first year maybe now to, to this level i've really gained a lot not only in playing the instruments i've also learned something uh in how to sing yes and also different instruments i can play uh yeah and that is really how it has impacted me personally yes and now welcome to the praise and worship and instrumentalist family where i'm making melodies in our hearts as a sweet fragrance to the lord is our passion thank you and god bless you Praise God. My name is Naomi Kasoro. I represent Koya Ministry under the Christian Union. So in Koya Ministry, ministering to God's people through songs is our delight. We normally have our prayer and fasting days on Wednesdays and conclusions from five. Uh, on Thursday, we have our, our fellowships and trainings. And on Saturdays, we always have our practices. And morning glories always on Sundays from six in the morning. So Kwe Ministry has helped me in nurturing my talents, most especially in singing and dancing. It has also been a, a place where I've made so many friends and I've interacted with so many people, knowing to how to interact with people of different personalities. So if you join Kwe Ministry as a member, our ministry has also been a medium of helping people in nurturing most of their talents and also a, a place where you can always find friends and people who are more than a family. Yeah. Hello, wonderful people. Hakika, you are a blessing from above. And right about now, I present to you the creative ministry. I go by the name Kelvin Washira, a second year in the School of Science pursuing information technology. And by the grace of God, I serve in the creative ministry as the chairperson. I'm of Lutnasamangauku, the papa. So, creative ministry. Creative ministry is a ministry under the University of Eldoret Christian Union where we minister to God through our talents ama ukipenda tunaeneza injili tukitumia talanta zetu so creative ministry we have ministrations which are based on the following we do acting dancing poetry artwork paintings tukona narratives and many other activities zenye wasa ufanya that are creative anything called art creative ministry is in it aside from that creative ministry is a platform for spiritual growth as much as we focus on uh, working on our art so this is what we do on wednesday we have fasting uh where we have the conclusions from 5 p.m to 6 p.m at the bush on thursday on thursday we have a fellowship at ed 13 from 6 45 p.m to 8 30 p.m as if that is not enough on saturday we have practices lazima tujenge skills so on saturday we have practices at ed 13 from 10 a.m to 12 p.m and lastly on sunday lazima tura uke mapema tafte mungu so at 6 20 a.m we are found at lh1 ama sirikwa hall from 6 20 a.m to 6 40 a.m that is creative ministry the christian union has been of benefit unto us they have provided us platforms for the administration on sunday as if that is not enough 
There is an amazing activity that happens in every spiritual year in creative ministry known as the creative afternoon. So the creative afternoon is an event that happens in, in an, an afternoon where all talents are presented. Um, you are all welcome. This is creative ministry. Ukitaka you can uh, reach out to us through the number 0740-115-195. And more, as we say in creative ministry, welcome to creative ministry, where creativity is divinity. Mm-hmm. Aha. Once a creative member, always a vibrant minister. Uh. My name is Koskei Masi. Yeah, I'm a children minister and by the grace of God I serve as the chairperson. In children ministry, uh, children ministry is a ministry under a mission docket in the Christian Union. And children ministry is a ministry that reaches out to children, to primary schools and various Sunday schools. As a ministry we have eight churches, that is churches around the University of Eldoret. And we always teach them on Sunday. Yeah, time for Sunday school varies according to churches. And on Friday, we have ministrations for teaching PPI at University of Eldoret Primary School. And other activities in the ministry includes the uh, uh, children ministry bonding. That is where we share experiences for the ministration of maybe the old semester, how it has been. And also, in each and every semester, we do a training for the children ministers. They, they, we train them and also educate them on the current issues affecting children. Yeah, we always have a systematic topics, especially for PPA ministrations. And other activities also include brothers and sisters fellowship, where we, where sisters meet meet and also brothers meet. Our children ministry has impacted me personally. I've learned to be patient, teaching children needs patience. You have to care of them, listen to them. Yeah, they can share also things that affect them that they cannot share with their parents. So you have to be patient and help them. It has also made me to meet with friends who have helped me grow spiritually, those who are ahead of me, those whom I found in children ministry. Children ministry has helped me to grow spiritually by now opening my mind and helping me to learn more in the ministry and also growing in passion for children. Welcome to Children Ministry, where every child in every nation for Christ. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Juliet Ann Okuku. Uh, I represent High School Ministry. High School Ministry is a ministry within the CU. And in high school ministry, here we reach out to various high schools uh, that are around the campus. Uh, for example, we reach out to the 10 schools that are around the campus. And uh, as you can see right now, we came for the ministration to the University of Eldoret High School. And uh, uh, the ministry has been impactful to the high school students. And we thank God for that. Uh, uh, how the CU has been uh, uh, so beneficial to us is that uh, by the time sometimes we have the the uh, the workshops for the rally where we invite students to the campus, the CU uh, always provide to us. The CU also provide to us uh, uh, in terms of finance when we reach out to various schools that are uh, far away from the campus. And uh, we thank God for seeing you. Therefore, uh, how the ministry has been impactful to me is that uh, I thank God for this far that because I have grown personally in, in my spiritual ways, I have also grown in the social ways and how to interact with the people around and the uh, also, I've been in, uh, the ministry has been impactful to me because, uh, uh, as you can see, now that uh, we are, we are pre being prepared as the ministers uh, of this generation. And, uh, 
and when we come to the uh, when we go to the high schools that are around the mini uh, the campus we come for the bible study we come for the ministration where we uh, we, 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 we reach out with the gospel the, the, we teach the students on uh, 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 the true doctrines and also what to do as a christians and as a christian and also we we ensure that we follow up uh, on 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 their spiritual uh, uh, growth and uh, through that we 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 find this from their patrons. I'm um, Mrs. Ross Pilino, uh, the chaplain, University of Eldoret High School. Uh, that is where I serve as a teacher at the same time as a shepherd for the students. I would really want to take this time to appreciate the University of Eldoret Christian Union Ministry, which has really been sending students, uh, their students to come and assist in our Christian Union for the Bible study and for the Thursday Sunday service. We really want to say that they are coming as a, as a great impact and has grown many, many fruits as far as our learners' spiritual growth is concerned. One, our learners have been able to identify themselves with these ministers because they are almost of the same age, group, age groups and age brackets. They are a motivation to our students because they look at them and they see it is possible to make it in life as a young person. So we really want to appreciate the Christian Union Ministry. Through this ministry, our learners have been able to have been able to be taken through spiritual growth in all aspects, issues of discipline, issues of obedience, spiritual growth, and uh, we really encourage that uh, the, 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 the Christian Union needs to continue working hand in hand with our institution, University of Eldoret. Praise God. I am Manuel Menza from the University of Eldoret Christian Union, Mass Ministry. Mass Ministry is a ministry under the University of Eldoret Christian Union Mission Docket. Yes, Mass Ministry is a, is a ministry that reaches out to the special groups following the example of Christ. Yes, Mass Ministry has four departments. One, we have the prison department. We also have the hospital department. We also have the children's home department. And lastly, we have the, the street children department. Here we are, it is the street children department, as you can see. We have the kids. The kids are enjoying their lunch after 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 the after our normal fellowship. Yes, our, our main goals are to to evangelize to the kids to make sure that in realization of the real essence and the meaning, and also to understand the the, the real the real call of God and their real meaning in realization their their purpose in life, and also to know God in whatever they are going to do. Yes, Mercy Ministry is a, is a also a ministry that has many activities. One of them which includes praying for the kids according to their needs. We also do discipling of the kids. We also teach the kids the word of God so that they can understand the real message of the Christ and also to be in a position to have a firm foundation of the knowledge of God at their young stage. Yes, and uh, under street department, as you can see, we partner with Berukam organization. Berukam organization is an organization that is supporting the kids in terms of helping them to go to school. And the Mercy Ministry, we do partner with them so that we can make sure that the, 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 the hope is being restored to the street children and also to, to make them even to have a chance to enjoy the real meaning of life and the purpose, the purpose of God. Yes. My name is Yukabet, the vision bearer of the Rome organization, an organization which started back in the year 2013. And uh, in the year 2018, we met with the Mass Ministry and uh, one of the students by the name Abigail Chipto came to reach out to us 
asking if we can have a program with the street population in Eldoret, mainly Sunday church service. And uh, when she came, we laid the message to the population and they agreed. And uh, it was like on a Thursday, and then we just started the follow Sunday of that week, we started uh, a church service together uh, with the, with three three students from the University of, El of Eldoret. That is Masi and uh, Joseph Kuria. I don't know the third person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm forgotten. And uh, in total, when we were starting. This the Sunday church service with the, the this unique population, the street population. We were in, in total of eight persons, and uh, we started it when we were meeting at the field. And uh, this is where the Lord has brought us. So right now, having good times, the the many children who have changed actually through their hands, like they reach out, they identify a child in the midst of the congregation, they reach out to him or her at a personal level, and then after that comes up a good testimony of change and transformation. And many children have been transformed through our Sunday church service. We also uh, have a time where when school closes or the colleges and universities and they go back home. They have tried their best under their due leaderships that the, the leaders will make sure that they keep not going to their holidays, they remain back to uh, keep on coming to serve with us. And uh, sometimes some leaders they arrange uh, in between them who will remain back and who is going, who will go earlier and come back, who will go late to come later. <laughs> so it has been with challenges. When they go home, we have uh, like uh, like the, like uh, an organization we train a lot because we have to do like most of the things by ourselves or with whoever is left to be with us during those time of school holidays. And uh, another challenge that which has been uh, very major is uh, that this group, Mass Ministry, they have been reaching unto this special population, this street population, and working with them is not easy. Sometimes when we started, it was not like the way you, you, you found it today. When we started, we could reach a point, you're preaching and they're fighting. So you have to stop the preaching, you come down the situation, and then you go back to start to It reached a point that uh, we got someone called Nwati from Nairobi. So when he came and he found out that we were having church service, but we were struggling and uh, we don't have a good way of maybe giving these children uh, if, uh, something uh, which can uh, last them like one or two hours after the church service, he said that you chip in and help us mm, weekly so that we can find a way of buying the, the vegetables and uh, the flour. So I, can, I, can, I can say that the leadership and those who are joining up with the mass ministry, ex, 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 especially those who come in to serve uh, the street population, they go through a lot, a lot of challenges, a lot. We had it is true that we have seen the fruit of the labor of those who are coming to minister to this population. I urge CU management to do something for these people coming to minister to these children.
Hello, hello. This is Ashering family and I'm Edwin Odiambo. I serve as the leader of Ashering. In Ashering ministry is a ministry under Christian Union which, which has several obligations. Some of our obligations or acts is that we always ensure that the church is clean. Apart from that, we always collect offering. We always wipe the seats. We always raise the curtains and make some decorations at the church. Then as ushers, we always ensure that the life of other ushers are raised spiritually and devotionally. And as ushers, we always have our weekly activities. Some of the weekly activities is that on Wednesday, we have prayer and it's our prayer and fasting day. And we always conclude at the bush. And on Thursday, we have our fellowship at EDC. And I will welcome you to the ushering family where the comfort of God's people is our joy. And once an usher, you need to be an active and a confident member. Shalom. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is James Opole, and by the grace of God, I'm serving as the intercessory ministry leader. And now, as a, as a ministry, we have weekly activities such as we have daily morning glories that is from five at our place of residence. Wednesday, we do have our prayer and fasting week where we seek God through prayers and we do, con do our conclusions within the school at the bush. And also, we do have our Thursday fellowships. Uh, every Thursday, we do fellowship together. And also, on Sunday, we do have our morning glories before before the fellowship. And now, as, as a ministry, the Christian Union has been of much help unto us. And now, the Christian Union has been providing for us a platform where we do take part in leading of prayers and also building our confidence now as intercessors. And now, as an individual, the ministry has impacted me in my prayer life. As you know that as an intercessor, prayer should be our lifestyle. And therefore, that ministry has impacted me a lot in prayer life. And now, for, therefore, uh, the vision of the ministry as a, as a leader, I, I have the burden and the zeal to promote the prayer life as a personal discipline among members by the grace of God. And therefore, uh, I, I welcome us all to the story ministry where prayer is our master key. A man is always strong on his knees. Jesus Christ talking to his disciples that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And therefore, be found praying. Thank you. Praise the Lord. This is Jubilance team uh, with me, uh, brethren that we served with them in the Christian Union. And today you are privileged to come and visit the Christian Union at the University of Eldoret. And I would like to welcome them to say their names and you maybe to share the experiences after campus, how the CU has been relevant in their lives. Welcome. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Chair. Um, Juma Rogers, and I'm glad to be back to the ECU. Uh, I was here, and I served as part of the past year at that, then the vice chair at the union, then the chairperson. And uh, the CU has, uh, like, it helped me to ground my faith and to have my assurance uh, in Christ. And even outside there, I have full assurance of even the salvation, and it helped me in the marketplace. And I have seen that working for me that I'm able to stand and defend Christ even to the world is left because we met. Uh, we are able to meet different people, uh, but we, there should be a distinction that was grounded back in the university. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it was a privilege today to get come back home and fellowship together with the Christian Union. Yes, uh, I was here sometimes back and I served as the vice chair of the Christian Union. Uh, during my time in the Christian Union, the discipleship classes helped me to, to be more grounded in my faith, to, to have assurance of salvation, and uh, that has also impacted me greatly in the job market because uh, I remain relevant, uh, I remain to, to stand true, and uh, even to stand for, for what is right at the job place. So thank you so much. Praise the Lord. I'm um, also great uh, today. Uh, we have visited the church. This is where, uh, for me, personally, I received my salvation. Uh, when I came here, I thought that I was born again, but uh, through being 
uh, brought through the, the discipleship program, I found myself that I was not born again. And it is in this union that I gave my life to Christ. I was baptized here. And uh, uh, for me, it is uh, an opportunity to say that you, OECU, has molded me to be the person that I am today. But I can stand and say that indeed, uh, through the University of Illinois Christian Union, I received my salvation. Even out there in the job market, yeah, I've stand firm uh, in the faith. And uh, they're still uh, spreading the good news even to them that have not known Christ, that they may come to know Him and uh, accept Him in their lives. Be blessed. Um, uh, praise the Lord. My name is Stephen Muhanji. It's actually a pleasure to be back at where it all began. I want to thank God for the moment He even gave us here at the University of Eldoret first as a student and again as the uh, members of the Christian Union where we have seen God in back our lives and uh, even we transited most of us that we are faced by this and be able to see that the experiences and the impact we receive in this place has constantly shaped on how we are relating even in the outside environment and even in the marketplace. When I recount of the great and uh, wide range of the activities that you had, ranging from the prayers to the discipleship, uh, 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 gatherings, even to the mission activities and to the uh, fellowship every other day, I can see all Christ being crowned in us and we have been able to, to, to receive, to understand, to gain that assurance of salvation, being able to know that with the Lord has actually deposited in us, that is the Lord wants the best out of us and being able to transit with it and even to help another uh, generation outside there. So I'm so glad for the University of Eldoret Christian Union. Uh, we constantly pray for even those who will come after us, that the Lord will be able to even establish the mandate many who will also be faithful and even establish other people as time goes by. So it's joy to be here. We look forward to coming back again and again, and the Lord shall be able to lead us. Thank you so much. Wow. We thank the Lord because of those testimonies. Yes, praise God. And uh, again, here we have the uh, good man with us. Today, uh, we are delighted and uh, privileged to have him, uh, the chairman, and uh, they are fellowship with us. And now uh, we have him here. Uh, we want to share with him. Yes, and get to know more about the jubilance. Welcome. So, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank so, uh, introduce yourself and tell us, why did you choose jubilance and not the Israelite? Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Hudson Akekul, uh, Jubilant. Uh, why the name Jubilance? Uh, I can say we chose the name after uh, going through our testimonies as the elders of the Christian Union in 2022. So we were looking at our transition periods when we were in primary to secondary, secondary to the university, and what the things that were happening uh, throughout our academic calendars, and uh, how God has been carrying us in His grace, in His love. And uh, we were to receive the name Rejoice Us, that we were rejoicing over what God has done. But again, you had to look for a synonym that was suitable for that word. Uh, therefore, we chose on jubilance, which was the correct name, which means rejoicing after some battle or some tough moments, then you are rejoicing over it. Uh, thank you. Wow. Yeah, so you have heard that jubilance uh, rejoices. Mm -hmm. Yes, they rejoice uh, for what God has done to them in the period they, they were here. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, the, the, the gesture now you have shown to the sea, you see, you people have been coming from time to time, uh, from year to an year, you come mm. to the CU, mm. you come carrying something for them. And last time I saw some, you came with some equipment, now mm -hmm. you again came with some tokens, mm -hmm. some tokens. Mm. Okay, now, what keeps you united and uh, what drives you towards this? Because uh, we have many generations which have, have mm -hmm. been here, mm -hmm. they have gone and uh, we only see them during the other sheets weekends. Mm -hmm. So the, the only time we see them. Mm -hmm. But you people have been coming from now and then. Mm -hmm. So what drives you to do this? Uh, 
I can say our coming together began when we were still students mm -hmm. as the elders during our VUCA fit classes, which is one of the discipleship class mm -hmm. for the elders. Mm -hmm. We agreed as jubilants that our unity, our supporting the CU should not just stop at when we are students. We should carry the vision even outside the campus mm -hmm. and therefore we uh, came together and said that we have a vision where we want to have an active associate team mm. which supports the Christian Union mm. because uh, some of us have served the leadership in the Christian Union and we saw the need of the church mm. financially uh, how we were struggling with the leadership and therefore so it good if associates can come together and take uh, an active role in supporting the CEO maybe uh, towards the equipment uh, even the, the need that is there right now the building of the chapel if we can come together actively we can support the union from uh, those needs mm -hmm. then uh, we also set out uh, some rules or, or some some words mm -hmm. we can sell a paper mm -hmm. where we say that we shall be visiting the christian union every two weeks to the weekends uh, the elders weekend every year mm -hmm. that is in the second semester two weeks to the elders weekend we shall be coming to see the CU mm -hmm. apart from the associate weekend that is there in the year Mm -hmm. So we shall be coming uh, here annually mm -hmm. and with us shall be coming the token towards the chapel building or the need of the church uh, as, as it has communicated with us. Yeah. 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 So that, that's so great to see when you are here, maybe it's not, uh, you did it have uh, enough mm -hmm. yeah, to serve the Lord and you see there is need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now when you are out there at least you're getting something and then you're bringing it back to the mother. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. You have now grown. Mm. Mother is getting old, so mm. just taking care of her. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is wonderful. Maybe you can mm. tell us how has the CU mm. impacted you personally mm -hmm. in the marketplace? Maybe to secure jobs, to secure places, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, in your interactions with the the, the, the counterparts mm -hmm. in workplaces and mm -hmm. how to live amongst the members of the society. Mm. Yeah. Uh, first, when I joined the Christian Union, I was in second year, and I joined the discipleship classes. Mm -hmm. That is the Mizizi, Misinki, Fishers of Men, Best P, Kairos, uh, the ones that have contributed to most of my spiritual being in the school, mm -hmm. and it is still informing. It is still informing my interactions even outside campus and the things that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, towards my career, I'm a teacher, yeah. and. Uh, over being a teacher, I'm also a shepherd teacher, where my work is not only to teach my subjects, the ones I was uh, I, I was trained to do, mm. but I also reaching out to students by uh, through the gospel of Jesus Christ. I mm. preach to them, I speak to them, I give them counsel mm. uh, through the skills that I got in the trainings that I received while in campus. Mm. And even with my colleagues, the relationship that I have with them is out of the mm. things we used to do when we are in the, the CU. Mm. Because when we are in the leadership of the CU, there's how you interact with people, mm. how you reach out to people. And it teaches you also how to reach out to your colleagues when you're at work. Mm. Uh, the workspace and uh, the relationships and mm. many things that are happening there. Mm. So like there's an active role that these classes have uh, done in my life. Mm. And I really appreciate uh, what they did to me. Yeah, and how do you keep these members of yours in that so that uh, they, they can support what is what makes it to stay united? I think uh, the vision that we had when we were students mm. still remains our main motivation. Mm. Uh, even the world says where there is no vision, people perish. And therefore, I believe our vision is the main motivation. Mm. Apart from that, the leadership that I was working with, that is the Jubilance Committee, mm. We saw it good if we can involve the executive committee of that time mm. so that we work with them as one team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I thank God they agreed under the leadership of Rogers mm -hmm. and we've been working hand in hand in mobilizing people, going to individual e teams, going to individual ministries that we served in. Mm -hmm. uh, we're reaching, reaching to people. We send personal messages to them mm -hmm. to remind them of our vision and also even to contribute uh, towards our kitty as the jubilants. Yeah. And uh, that has been a blessing to the Ministry of Jubilance. Oh, yeah, so uh, the work we are doing is uh, really great, mm. it's commendable, mm. and uh, we are looking forward that uh, even others are going to follow the same suite. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, uh, 
believe uh, 10 generations came the same way you are coming. Mm -hmm. As you, we could be far. We could be having maybe our home chapel, mm -hmm. uh, very well equipped. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it is our, uh, it is in our heart that uh, we still, those who are behind, we are going to follow the same suit and mm -hmm. we are going to achieve greatness. Mm -hmm. yeah, togetherness, when we are together, we go far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, as we conclude, mm -hmm. what are you going to tell? These people out there, the other associates, the emirates, mm -hmm. the citadels. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, actually, our main call right now as the jubilance mm -hmm. is that we stop the blame games mm -hmm. that have been there, or the associates are not part of the CU, mm -hmm. but we become the change. Yeah, sure. That instead of blaming other people for our mistakes, mm -hmm. let us own the mistakes, then rectify from ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then we are also calling up on uh, the groups that are coming after us, that is the citadels, the derakas, and the people that come afterwards, mm. that they join the spirit. Mm. We may not be able to convince all the team, but if a few can carry the burden and work with it, we can make a difference. Mm. And it makes our call to all associates that let's remember the CU needs funding, the CU needs our support, it needs our attention, mm. our commitment, mm. and we should be available when the need arises, every time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, thank you for coming. Yes, and having time with us, yeah. we are honored. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Delighted. So, uh -huh. may God bless you and continue seeing you in everything you do. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have laid a firm foundation for us to uh, to see, to, to follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, may God bless you out there as you continue to share that. Mm -hmm. yeah, those flocks of him, yeah. Yeah, may you do great work and I'm sure uh, whatever you are doing, you shall receive a reward for it. Mm -hmm. And again, here we have a very special man and a why special why special you see this man uh, is a kairos is it kairos kairos ogiek muhaj jubilant jubilant kairos ogiek muhaj you see that name uh he was nicknamed when he was in the service and uh, that is about uh, three years ago if i'm not wrong and you see even today when he came in the name is still active and then i wonder like why huh? what has it uh what has it happened for him so that he can maintain that name people know him as object or title not even much so uh he's going to tell us like why well what did these kairos and these objects do to you and what are them thank you so much mr jeff Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps what people people really don't know is that uh, my official name is Stephen Muhanji, mm -hmm. and fortunate enough, when I was in this environment of the University of Eldoret, and more specifically in the University of Eldoret, I happened to serve in the various positions in the Christian Union. As a result of serving in the various positions in the Christian Union. Uh, especially as a mission chairperson, it reached at a point when I had to mobilize various programs that actually uh, were related to the Christian Union. One of it was a Kairos program, which is actually led by the Mission Campaign Network, MCN. Uh, during our time, that should be in June uh, 2021, that is the exact and precise year, uh, I had this zeal to actually, uh, and, 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 and by good luck, God has given me a powerful voice. Let me say for that reason, a powerful voice. So I project my voice to the highest uh, level possible. So with that, I was shouting Kairos, mobilizing Kairos here and there. And uh, the name actually was baptized to me to be Kairos, and that's how the name picked up. Now, Kairos simply means my opportune time. When I understood the meaning of the name, I actually accepted it as my nickname because, yeah, I think it is a crucial time. It is my Kairos moment to influence my generation with the gospel of Christ. I also mobilized Mount Elgon Mission. And... Uh, Mount Elgon Mission majorly were reaching to the people of Okek. So we could shout Okek for Jesus and then they could respond. For that reason, people again knew me as Okek and the, the, the name was now fused to Kairos and Okek. 
however i really thank god because they have actually informed my being they have actually informed my identity i've realized that i'm made to witness to reach out with the gospel and over and over again this has reminded me any moment i i i, I, I meet with a person whom i have this feeling that perhaps he does not he has not heard about the gospel of christ i go back and maybe just share about the gospel of christ jesus otherwise i still live to live with the impact of the christian union here at the universe of eldoret i know what it has done to me i know what it has done to my peers i know people who have influenced us the likes of kina titus kieng they have really influenced our being here and we appreciate god for them and for their lives and for the students who are still around i pray that we do not lose the vision of one of the major one of the major purposes why the church exists is to reach out. That's why I pray every single moment that is as even we continue, as even they continue with the academics here, as even they continue with their fellowship here in the Christian Union, they remember that outside people, outside there, people are actually losing life. Actually, people are losing identity. So we have to reach out to them with the gospel of Christ Jesus. Thank you. He praised the Lord. My name is Yusuf Etabo and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm born again. I thank the Lord. Um, I sit at them. Uh, I praise the Lord also because of such an opportunity and a very moment. Uh, I'm just here to, 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 to briefly let you about the city and the fact it has been a four year journey and for others it has been, it has been a five year journey and uh, out of it we've been able to see the faithfulness of God that He is faithful even as we began also to be the point when we are completing and uh, in our completion we are able to see back and be able to even uh, test of someone to do things and see that indeed if it was not by God we would have been swallowed a while swallowed and uh, we've been thinking of many things remembering the, the story since we began and there was a lot of things yes things started very well though there was a bit of some uh, a lot of very shortcomings as, as, as now the citadels uh, we had uh, some moment of maybe uh, not much oriented to the Christian Union by then but uh, by God's grace we were able to collect ourselves and uh, coming up maybe in one point one and uh, uh, being uh, held up by others like jubilance the uh, emeralds and uh, the diadems who are there as a parents to us and we were able to grow to grow together not only in spiritual life academically we were also able to find one two and then three things that have been able to help us to be where we are today we cannot forget the the, 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 the corona pandemic uh, it, it was something that affected us and uh, as we were seeing uh, seeing back uh, how it affected us uh, morally socially giving us a moment of you know having some uh, distance away from one another but all in all we really thank god because at the end of the day today we can be able to say that the journey has uh, come to an end and as it is as it is coming to an end we are able to test and say that indeed we are coming out victorious we are coming out submissive we are coming out uh, obedient and uh, the major thing is that lord is is, is given blessing in our hearts the heart of prayer we are really grateful and grateful for even citadels for walking and, and be faithful since first year to this time though there was a lot of challenges but you've been able to manage to come to this as far men and ladies can i say just congratulations for attaining such a, 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 a great and a great achievement in your life and we wish you all the best as you're going out go as a faithful servant just as christ was we also wish you that all the best as you're going to endeavor in each and everything may the lord see you may the lord bless you to the church the university of eldoret christian union we are uh, we, we can just say thank you because of supporting us being there for us being very much dear be very much uh, open to us and always even accepting our guidance as the citadels this is the story that we've already uh, uh right and we are we, we've already launched and now we are working on that story yes we are the citadels the emblems of victory
right uh, praise the lord i greet you in the name of jesus christ and uh, i want to bring unto you the barakas and their story and how the lord has been with the team how the lord has carried us we are the final years and we are completing academics in the university of eldoret in this year 2024 and we can really say that the Lord has been faithful unto us. The name uh, Berakas, which is for the Christian Union finali finalists, is a name that uh, speaks much about the life of the team. Depending on what the Lord has done, depending on the challenges, depending on every other things that the Lord has fought for the entire team, there have been many challenges that the team has met on the way and uh, there are ups and downs uh, academically we have faced challenges socially we have faced challenges economically we have faced challenges politically we have faced challenges but in the long run the lord has fought for us you can ask yourself that where is the name Berakas coming from? The name Berakas comes from the book of Second Chronicles chapter number 20 from verses number 26. And we lay the foundation of this name just from the entire chapter where we find out that the Lord fought for Jehoshaphat to defeat the Moabites, the Ammonites and the Munites. And uh, when you get to verses number 26, now where the name coming is coming from, is now where we find out that on the fourth day they assemble in the valley of Beraka where they praise the Lord. This is why it is called the valley of Beraka to this date. If you read the book of uh, Second Chronicles chapter number 20, you find out God fighting for the lives of the, 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 the Israelites through Jehoshaphat. And you find out that these people never went to battle. They never prepared an army. But even though there were many people who arose against them, the Lord, the God of Israel, arose to fight for them. And uh, we realize that this is, 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 is identical to the life of the Berakas now. The final years are at the University of Eloret in the Christian Union. And when you look at the lives of these people, when we joined in first year, there were many things we joined just immediately after Corona, and even when Corona was still uh, there in the in, in the nation and uh, in the entire world, but the Lord fought for us. During this period when we came, we broke home. There were strikes that came here and there to fight against us. We stayed home for around a month after the strike, but the faithfulness of God brought us. There were many things, and you could find that in the during the school, that time in the school, you find out that uh, many barracas, some of them faced challenges when you never had a mask, you could be arrested by the officers within the school, and some of them went through charges of fees because they never even had the mask is itself. And I want to really say that the Berakas have witnessed the, the, the grace and the mercies of God, the faithfulness of God, the love of God, the God have battled for us because it was not with anything that was within us. It was nothing that was within us that made us reach this far. Until now we have come to the final year, it is just by the grace of God. We can say if the Lord never rose for us, and when he never rose for this entire team, nothing could have come out of us. And today we could have not come here to testify that indeed this is what the Lord has done. And I want to tell you that this is a team that the Lord has really fought for. We have seen God has lifted us from grace to grace in one level to another. You see some of us came here when we never knew Christ. Some people came here, we found, uh, out, we, we found out to be 
be rooted in Christ when we arrived in the University of Eldoret. Challenges arose. Some of us came even when we were born again. Again, we backslided. But through the help of the Christian Union and God bringing people into our lives, we found our ways again and we found the roots again so that we may get up again to become a people that we are today. And I can really tell you we are a total number of 270, 75 members who are in the Christian Union who are finalizing this year. And this entire team has really, really witnessed the glory of God. As our slogan goes that we are the veil of blessings. We are the radiance of God's glory. We have really, really, really seen the grace of God. In the slogan also, it's us, what we say, that we are blossoming amidst challenges. Amidst all the challenges that have faced our lives, we can really say that we have really blossomed. And as you can see, if you can view us anywhere, if you can look at our lives everywhere, you can trace us everywhere, you can follow but the grace of God which has carried us has been a grace that when we look at our lives today we really say that indeed this has been God indeed this is the Lord that has fought for us and that is why we chose the name Berakas because we have seen that in the final touches in the final moments we have seen the grace the glory the favor the mightiness and the, 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 the faithfulness of God fighting for us and i want to tell you brethren it is really true it is really something which is evident upon upon our lives and we are trusting the lord that even not beyond here the name is going to drive our lives for generation to generation and in even even as we go outside the campus as we are now living and graduating in a few 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 months to come we can really say that the lord is still going to be with us in the job market is still going to fight for us in the line of ministry is going to fight for us in every field that we are going to go because we have seen that god fight for us some lack fees when we were in this campus some of us lacked food to eat people went hungry for some times we visited the welfare docket for several times but there was the grace of god that carried us and surely today we can really attest that the life of the barakas this has been God. And we are so grateful to the Christian Union. We are grateful to the University of Eldoret for giving us a place like this so that our lives can be made. So that Christian life that we walk become a walk that the Lord has been in. And even academically, University of Eldoret has played a vital role in molding us. And tomorrow when you meet us out there, you can be sure that you are going to get competent People in the market, people who are not lazy, people who really can work and are there to honor God even in the jobs that they are going to be given. We are not ready to compromise of the faith that the Lord has given unto us to subscribe to the things that the world has brought to us. And we are ready to stand with the gospel now and forevermore. May God bless you all. May God bless you and may God bless you. Shalom. We are the Berakas a veil of blessing. Uh, we are blossoming amid these challenges and let it be known, surely we are the Berakas. Thank you very much. May God bless you. I'm Mary Sharon, uh, Beraka from the School of Business. Um, I've been a, an active member of the Christian Union since first year. And today I've managed to attend the retreats. It was amazing. I have learned a lot of things. Uh, like, uh, And I've been able even to participate in different activities, like the mind games, which have helped me to think fast. I've also participated in the marathon, um, which has uh, made me to realize that I can really learn, run very fast. I've also uh, uh, been able to to make new friends and uh, get to know more people. Yeah, thank you so much. It was amazing. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Maunde Faib, a Beraka, an active member of the CU and in ushering ministry. I'm here to give a brief impact of the Christian Union upon my life. And the number one impact, uh, serving in ushering ministry has, has really helped me to have humility in my life, to know how to serve other people, and even to serve people despite of their status and welcome them. Another impact in my life is that when I joined CU in first year, I was very naive 
in terms of decision making but through the programs that are set there by the CU they really help me to grow both spiritually and even in decision making and even in my personal growth it has really helped me and I also want to say that through inductive Bible study and CBR I've been able to be consistent in reading my Bible and also I've been able to be engaged in a lot of activities that have really impacted me and helped me personally. Thank you. Uh, my name is Masika Michael. I'm a Baraka. In the School of Business, I take finance and banking. Uh, when I joined the University of Eldoret in the year 2020, uh, I made a decision of joining the Christian Union and uh, through that decision that I made, yeah, uh, uh, it has make, made a lot of impact uh, into my life uh, whereby yeah, through the CU, uh, 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 I attended the discipleship uh, uh, classes whereby I learned Mizizi when I was in first year and uh, it made me uh, to be deeply rooted in the word of God and also uh, uh, it made me to love the word of God uh, whereby formerly I was not used uh, uh, in the reading of the word but now uh, I can read uh, uh, very well and also uh, I did I did uh, uh, Misingi, uh, whereby I learned uh, uh, so many, so many things. Uh, one, uh, I come to understand how the sin entered into uh, the world, and also the redemption, the redemption nature of God that uh, He had for the uh, human kind. Then I, lo I also joined uh, the the ministry that's praise and worship and instrumentalist family, uh, whereby I majorly served served in instrumentalist family, uh, and uh, I was able uh, uh, to learn yeah, so many uh, instruments. Like one, that's the mixer. Uh, I knew how to balance uh, the sounds, uh, and also the connection. Uh, of which initially I was not able to do. Yeah, thank you very much. Praise Jesus. I'm Daniel Jehoge. In the church, I'm serving as a driver. Yeah, the thing has been really impactful for me, especially in my growth, and that is spiritually, and also in instruments. Yeah, I do also sing in the church. Yeah, especially the main thing maybe that I've gotten in the CEO or it has been impactful to me in this way. Uh, it is this way. Uh, I'm not only an instrumentalist, but I'm also a prayerful instrumentalist. Especially in the session, when I first came in uh, the first year, uh, I used just to be an anyhow instrumentalist, you know. But as I started ministering, yeah, having an encounter with and then like see links on more and uh the help thing yeah. So that is all on how the thing has started. Yeah, good evening guys. Here with you is Zeneshep Korir, a third year student. And um, just to tell you about, it is an evening um, of forms and celebration. As you can see, we are just from a uh, retreat and we are here at Kimumu. As you can see, these Christian Union members here are filled with joy. Yeah, they are just from expressing their their minds and even relaxing their minds after a tiresome week after a tiresome week of even reading and fellowships it's now to come and just explore and thank god for the goodness that he has done unto our lives yeah as you can see guys it's only god nobody else and we really thank god it is an end yeah we say bye bye thank you uh, hi everyone, my name is Caroline Mwende. I'm a member of Christian Union. I've been in the Christian Union for three years now. Uh, I was introduced by a friend in my first year. And so far, Christian Union has been of so much help to me uh, in, many, in many ways. Uh, spiritually, it has built me uh, in my prayers 
I was not able to pray even for for at least 20 minutes. Now I can pray for long and at least know how to pray, how, how, how to even fellowship with God. It has even built me in my Bible reading. Uh, through the discipleship classes, they have been amazing. From CBR to Fishers to Mizizi, I've been able to know how to read the word chronologically and even getting concepts from reading the scripture. So it has been of so much impact. And uh, also in the relationship part, oh my God, it has been of much help because uh, through the topics that are taught in the CU, I've been able to learn a lot how to relate with friends, how to relate with um, with companions, how to, to, to make friendship even in campus. So it has been of so much help. My name is Justin Jogu Kamal, a first year in the University of the Direct Christian Union. I'm a member of the intercessory ministry. So concerning the retreat, it was a very fun day where I enjoyed being in the mad game, being a part of the team of the achievers, where we made it, being the winners. I'm very happy because of how I got, I interacted with many members of the Christian Union. Ever after Apple, I went to the field where I was a partaker of the first year's football team. I thank God for how we were able to create unity among the first years, how we were able to establish a team, and even board with the fourth years, third years, and the second years in the field. After Apple, we came and found that the food was plenty, where we were able to have a meal. That to, to, I was, it was very fine, enjoyable, and we ate to the fullest. So thank you. Hello and praise God. I'm Nyako Nyambega, a student in the School of Education that is uh, taking mathematics and physics as my combination. As well, I would just like to join hands with the rest to concur that indeed Yoshiu is a home where love is more than words. Uh, to start from spiritual growth, it has ensured that we grow in all aspects, more especially that is spiritual growth, the, I can maybe speak of uh, discipleship classes, that is Mizizi, Misingi, BSTP, and as well as Bible study uh, it has helped, has been helpful, more especially in socializing and to get in touch with uh, many people and it has helped us to grow in social life and we are able now to understand uh, each and every person that is a uh, personalities. Uh, UICU has helped us as well to grow in uh, other aspects apart from spiritual growth. It uh, is helpful in uh, en ensuring that uh, our academics as well are catered for. That is because uh, their programs, they cater for one to be able to balance between academics and the uh, spiritual life. Uh, just to encourage a person out there, I can just encourage that if you want to grow spiritually, if you want to grow uh, socially and even economically, just you see is where what I mean love is more than words. Love speaks more than words and that one is a, an evidence only if you come to UACU. Thank you. Okay, my name is Bernard Hope. I'm glad uh, to be in a family or a home away from home. As it is being said, yes, UEC is indeed where love is more than word. Ever since I joined in my second year of study, I am, I've been transformed in all dimensions of life, in financial, uh, in financial literacy, in uh, spiritual aspect, in academic aspect, and even social aspect. This has been an uh, impact to me as a um, as a family. UEC has enabled me to understand. Uh, uh, different aspect of uh, biblical uh, uh, biblical uh, knowledge. I have learned CBR. I have learned uh, Mizizi, Fishers, the speakers. More so that has helped me even in my high school ministry in preparation of sermons. This is indeed a, a home away from home. I have made friends here. Friends who are very impactful and very helpful. Long live UAC. Thank you. Uh, praise God, I'm Job Kibet. 
second year in the school of education uh, <coughs> i like to thank god for the for being a member of the CUE Panya ni grow in many aspects Neza could idea in spiritual growth I've been uh, able to grow in different dimensions Like uh, in ministry life Neza kukua established Nekua strengthened Sai ni mejifuza vitu mingi Then uh, uh, in uh, reading of the word Nekua pia consistent I do my devotions Then uh, also CUE many idea katika welfare ya CU nimeweza kukuenda huko nimepata kupewa kakitu angalau ya kukuchikilia siku hey, and I thank God because apart from being built spiritually tumepia kuwa built in the physical where tunapata kurely on the CU sometimes kama umebuama kabisa and that's why I say that I can, I can recommend anyone aeze ku Stick to the CU, achane na kuzunguka sana. Thank you. Yes, my name is Eric Kiyoko Benjamin. I'm, I'm, I'm in School of Education, doing Mathematics and Geography. Yeah, I want to say thank you for CU. Being member of CU membership uh, since when I was first year, first semester, I joined 29th of August 2022 for, for this school. And my first service was on date 4th of September 2022. Immediately after I joined this university, I joined CU. I was a member where I did missing, I did uh, fishers and I've done uh, mizizi. And I'm very happy of it. The fellowship of CU, they have been backed into me. I'm very happy of CU. It is helpful for us as youth. We are growing. They are nurturing us spiritually understanding God. Also in Bible studies, we thank God. Everything is okay. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy Moshiki. The Christian Union has had a lot of impact in my life. Number one, leadership. I've been able to build up my leadership skills over and over again from the ministry to the e-team and I've been able to grow. Number two, I've been able to go through discipleship classes, different ones from Zizi, Fishers, Misingi, Best P, and through all those programs I've been able to read the Bible correctly and interpret it as I should be. And from the lessons that I've been able to learn from my discipleship classes, I've, I'm able to apply my Christian life to my career, and that has been an impact.